Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson. And I'm your other host, Annalisa Itkor. And we are lucky today to be on the beautiful dock here in Colleton River Community. And joining us today, we have four residents who are very excited to share their experience living here. First off, we'll have Sam Boyd. Next, we'll have Mark Heiner, who's been a long-term resident here to share about some of his fun activities. And last but certainly not least, we have Marsha and Jack Conover, also residents here, very excited to tell us about their own experience. So stick around and join us for this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Where Spring Island comes to speak. Where Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Where Buford comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV here at the beautiful Colleton River Dock where today we are talking with several members to the community and they're sharing all about what brought them here and joining us here now is Sam Boyd. Good to see you, good morning. Thank you, good morning. Now Sam, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you moved from and how long you have been here in Colleton River. Well, my family and I moved here 12 years ago from the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, that's quite a difference. Yeah, right? <laughs> so we've been in Colleton 12 years, which has been fantastic. And we've been able to see Colleton and Bluffton really grow. You have, yes. And it's just mm -hmm. grown into this beautiful thing it is today. It's just been great. So, um, you may not know this, but Sam and I actually, we know each other. I got <laughs> here today and I saw your face and I went, oh! So Sam and I play tennis together. Yeah. And I've had the pleasure of playing here on your beautiful facilities. Tell us a little bit more about the tennis facility here. Well, we have six clay courts. Um, one of them is lighted. And um, it was designed by Stan Smith. So, and he did a beautiful job. And we have a really, um, a lovely, friendly tennis community here that really ranges in all levels, which is nice. So you can kind of play for fun if you want, or you can play competitively um, on leagues. And um, so, yeah, you've been here. Well, and one of the other things that I love about your facility is you have really comprehensive viewing areas because it isn't always just about playing. Sometimes it's yes. really fun when you have family come and watch. Mm -hmm. and you've got great viewing areas and that wonderful clubhouse. Tell us a little bit about the clubhouse there. Well we, have, well, we have two clubhouses here, and the tennis courts are next to the Nicholas Clubhouse. Okay. And, um, and we're about to redo the tennis cottage as well, which is going to be wonderful. So, um, yeah, we do have great viewing areas. Yeah. I always say I love watching tennis as much as playing it. Well, and speaking so, of watching, I mean, there's quite a few leagues and programs here. Tell us a little bit of how you get involved in those. Well, um, we have two very popular pros, uh, Michael Regan and Gavin Cox, and um, they're very popular. They do private lessons. They also do clinics, um, pro expos, round robins, you name it. We have all, they get really creative, all kinds of fun, um, competitive tournaments. And then we also have teams, uh, competitive teams. In fact, our um, 55 and over for a women's team has gone to states twice, two wow. years in a row, the past two years, and done really well. So, um, so you can come here, you can just play for fun, or you can come and really compete all over Bluffton and the island um, representing Colleton. Well, so. I know from experience you do, you put out excellent teams here. And you can bring in people from outside the community, right? Can't people from well, outside? Well, sometimes if we need to yeah. fill in, yeah. if we don't have quite enough at a certain level, but um, you know, it, we have mixed teams, we have men's teams and women's teams, and so we can kind of find That's great. find a team for anybody. That so. is fantastic. Yeah. You mentioned Stan, Stan, Stan Smith, excuse me, and for those who may not know Stan, he's got quite a background in tennis and he <laughs> lives here locally still and very active in the community. So that just adds to the culture. Share a little bit about who Stan is for those who don't know and, and how that fits into the overall culture, just having the quality of, of professional, you know, former professionals around here. Yeah, well we have, I mean, he's a big name. And in fact, I mean, his shoes have gotten incredibly yes, popular. Yes, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like with the young people, it's amazing. But um, yeah, he, well he's designed, I think, several um, courts all over Hilton Head and Bluffton. But what's nice about our courts is, you know, you and I play all over the place, right? Oh, yes. A lot of courts like back up to 278, so you have traffic noise or mm -hmm. among other issues. Our courts, they're very, they're quiet. 
very serene And it's just surrounded by yeah. beautiful landscaping. So it's just, it's nice. Well, and it's beautiful yeah. just driving to get to them. I always enjoy the drive to the courts because, I mean, this community is gorgeous. <laughs> well, the drive to anywhere in the hair is just beautiful for sure. So Now, I know mm -hmm. that you play a lot of tennis do you, <laughs> and you have a family. Do you mm -hmm. have time for any other activities or things here in the community? Well, there's a lot to do, isn't there, outside. I play golf, but tennis is my first love. So I do play golf, and um, we also like to get out on the water. We get on the jet skis or paddle yes, boards. Yes, that's my favorite right there, yeah. So we, there's some <laughs> great options, yeah. so, mm -hmm. yeah. And speaking of that, as we are here on this beautiful dock and community, tell us about some of the other things like kayaking that you might do be able to do right well, here. Well, you mentioned stand-up paddle boarding. It looks yeah. like the water is beautiful here for that. It really is, and um, it's... I mean, you can, we have um, storage here. You could storage, if you live in Calton, you can store your kayaks and paddle boards right here at the dock and just go right on out. And, um, but they also have guided tours as well, which is great, and gr kayak groups and, yeah, so That's lots awesome. of options. So yeah. You really don't have to leave the <laughs> surrounding gate of College River to do any of these things. You've got everything you really right don't. here. Yeah. Yeah, do you get out much, by the way? <laughs> do you well, i got to go play her in you got to go play her, of course, exactly. <laughs> so we much we to force do. her to come over to Hilton Head every now and then. <laughs> what other thoughts might you give to someone who's considering Colleton River over another community? What could you tell them or share in addition that might help them make up their mind and their decisions? Well, one thing is I think um, a lot of people identify Colleton River as a golfing community, which it, which it is, and it's fantastic. Um, but there are so many other options, you know, like I'm a tennis player and I really uh, love our tennis community. It's very close and very friendly. So there are lots of other fun groups um, that, you know, you can join in here and things to do. So Real besides quick, golf. speak mm -hmm. to raising kids here. Right. Well, when we moved here, so we have three sons and um, they were all, they were 12 and under when we moved here. Mm. So... Um, they loved it and there's maybe not as many kids in here i think as you would a lot of people assume but um but there are some and they're very close with those other college and yeah. kids because you know and um they love growing up here they're very much we call them like marsh babies because they we live on the marsh and they grew up on a paddleboard basically wow and there's awesome. this little island behind our house and they go out there and they've built a dock and a tree house and so there wow. are it's it's you know, there are things for kids it's, to do here, yeah. but there's not a ton of kids, but. That was, sounds idyllic, absolutely idyllic. Yeah. And a very important thing that you brought up too, because most people are probably thinking this is a retirement or post um, career type place, but in fact, as you just said, great place for the kids. Absolutely. Yep. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us, Sam. Thank you. Please stick with us. We'll be right back with more 843 TV.